Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another weekly angel guidance. This is such a beautiful week ahead. Oh my gosh, we're already in the new moon in Pisces phase, which if you haven't already checked out last week's weekly angel, it started on Sunday and it's just such a beautiful, beautiful time. Now the Piscean energy is very emotional and as Pisces is the 12th sign of the zodiac, even though we're moving into a new moon, this is a time of like completions um, because we're going to be preparing ourselves for going into Aries, which is the first sign of the zodiac, which is my birthday month. I'm so excited. I'm turning 31 in April. I can't believe it. So, this is such a beautiful time. So, let's see what's going to be coming up for us this week. Well, before I get started, let's go into the phases of the moon. So yes, we're already in the new moon in Pisces. Then coming on Wednesday, we're going to be moving into the crescent moon, which is asking us to refine our intentions. Now I have a little affirmation for you. It says, I refine my intentions and allow the universe to guide me. This is a really, really beautiful time. Then as we go on to Sunday, we move into the first quarter of the moon, which is the action stage. I take inspired action and allow it to flow with ease. So if you don't feel like you are meant to, like you don't feel like you're compelled to take a leap forward in regards to whatever you set on the new moon, then maybe this isn't in alignment with your true authentic self. You just go with what feels right for you. Also this week, oh my God, on the 22nd or 23rd, depending on where you are in the world, Mercury goes retrograde. Mercury rules communication, transport, and um, anything to do with electronics. So if you were taking a trip, <laughs> be very mindful about maybe leaving a little bit early. Um, and if your electrical equipment is playing up, like mine, my blender, my Nutribullet played up last Mercury retrograde and then it was fine and I just send it love and I'm like, thank you so much for making these beautiful smoothies. I'm so excited to have my beautiful smoothie. It's just like, just send love and gratitude to exactly where you are and if any of these little things bubble to the surface, just acknowledge them, thank them and then set them free. Otherwise, you're going to wind yourself up into a big tizzy and that's not going to be good for you. So, let's get on to today's reading. We're going to begin today with the Angel Oracle from Doreen Virtue and let's see what we need going into this beautiful week. I feel like this is going to be such a lovely time for you. Such a lovely time. All right, remember, this is just a general reading, so just take from this what feels right for you. The way that you know that is that by the end of this reading, you're going to have something that's going to be locked into your subconscious, and that's your divine message and what you need to act upon. Or if you want more clarity and guidance, then you'll need to book yourself a private reading. So two cards came up. The first card is, whoo, go for it. Oh, that's beautiful. So it's like, what do you want to manifest during this time? What's something that you've been thinking about doing? Um, and you're kind of like getting your pieces, like your, I see like ducks lined up. It says your prayers and your positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on this situation since it's genius. And we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed. Oh, that's beautiful. And the other card that just flipped over was creative projects. Oh, this is lovely. So some of you are going to be starting some new creative projects. Maybe you're working on them, but you're not ready to launch them. I feel like that's going to be coming in April when we go into Aries, which is the first sign of the Zodiac. Oh my goodness. Okay. Creative projects could be anything. What's something, it could be like, if you want to, like, I would really, really love to take up, um, a pottery class because I haven't, I've only had one cup in my whole entire life. It was a beautiful teacup that was handmade with this beautiful lady in Eos in Greece. And I haven't found a cup that has so much love in it. And whenever I see a beautiful cup, like in traditional stores and things are like manufactured in bulk, there's no love in them. And I would love to make my own cup so I can infuse so much love and nourishment into the cup. So that's, 
something, it's not something that I will, you know, it's just something that just came up when I thought of it, but I would love the opportunity to do that. So what comes up, this could be a creative project. It doesn't have to be like, I don't know, what's something that you want to do that you haven't done or what's something that you've been guided to do and you haven't made that step because your angels are saying, go for it. Wow, beautiful start to the week. All right, this is the Archangel Raphael healing deck from Doreen Virtue. Oh my gosh, the energies are so good. I can feel, I feel like you can finally breathe again. But in saying that, we still are in Pisces energy. So this is a time of healing, healing the heart. What do we need to know, angels? Healing any deep traumas, improving health. So things are going to be working out for you as you you're doing things that you love. This creative project is going to let you, allow you to vibrate in the frequency of love. And I feel like the creative project is going to come in the action stage, which is probably going to be later towards the end of the week. So maybe you are um, you're setting new intentions um, and refining them around this creative project, but you probably won't be taking, you won't feel like you want to take action until around Sunday. So that's quite interesting. But as you do that, your health is going to improve because it's going to make you feel amazing. Another beautiful thing is, can you see all of these beautiful flowers in the back? But he's putting his love and attention to this little little bubba here that hasn't blossomed and bloomed yet but he's going to get there because he's just saying like I love you you're so beautiful and he's watering him every day and he's, he's just, it's just lovely it's like I am where I am and it's okay I know that I'm gonna get to this stage as I take inspired action and I work out exactly what I want and it's gonna come at the perfect time and it's gonna be even more amazing than I have ever possibly imagined and I breathe with ease it's just a lovely time yes guys all right let's get one more card from this deck and then we'll move along what else do we need to know Okay, so recovery. So this fits in perfectly with this Pisces energy. This is like a healing time. Even though I said that this is like the, um, even though this is a new moon, I feel, and from what I've read in the astrology, that this is this is a time of, uh, of like coming, uh, it's not, I don't know how to explain it. It's like you're stepping into your power, but there's things that you're, you're finishing like a cycle and this cycle can come from this hope that you're going to get through this new creative project and maybe that's going to be part of the recovery process maybe that's something that you have wanted to do for such a long time but you haven't done it but you're saying thank you for holding my hand throughout my recovery upon my path of radiant health radiant health holy flip do those two just link together or what yeah, this is a beautiful time. I feel like this is, it's almost going to be therapeutic for you, whatever this creative project is. It's going to like, I see like the heart chakra with like fireworks all around it. It's just going to, it's just going to allow you to just be who you've known that you've destined to be or to take a step in a different direction. It's like putting your like putting your feet into water that it's unfamiliar to you, but you know within your soul that that's where you need to go. But you're like, I don't know if I can do that. And your angel's like, go for it. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. I am where I am and it's okay. Yes, guys. All right, let's move on. This is the numerology guidance deck from Michelle Buchanan. Clarity on go for it, creative project, improving health and recovery. Yes, this is a great week. And recovery too, you know, it's not all rainbows and lollipops. Recovery can be, you know, crying all your pain out till you literally have nothing left. Oh, now I can feel a blockage in the heart chakra. <sighs> My chest just got tight when I said that. But, you know, when you get to a point where you have cried out all of those tears and there's nothing left, it's like, it's like you rebuild yourself and you become even stronger and more amazing. And you know that you can achieve anything you want. The, the mind is what's going to get you there and your connection to your intuition. But if you're having trouble connecting with your intuition and working out what step are you meant to 
to make, then that's when you need to book yourself a private reading with me so I can give you, you no know, detailed clarity on your situation. Woo, okay, patience, it's all working out. I feel like this month is all about patience. You're just prepping yourself because it's like, um, yeah, it's like, you're prepping yourself for the event, but the event has a, is not going to be coming until next month or maybe the month after. I just feel like, I feel like you, this project, it's like you're making tiny little steps, whatever that may be, because it's, I don't know, I just feel like you're preparing yourself for your reveal. I saw like a curtain just rise up and you're like, ah, you know, the big spotlight on your head. Have patience. Oh, okay. This one? Personal growth. Okay, so this new chapter is definitely going to be aiding this new person that you're going to be. It's it's literally starting to mold you. It already has, but now that you're just starting to take inspired action, you are literally going to be meditating a lot more. I feel like a lot of you are going to be... I see people running, movement outside because I feel like this personal growth, personal growth can come in so many different ways. I feel like personal growth could come in like the mental strength, the physical strength. How can you become a better person? What do you feel like you need to do? And I just feel like these two are totally linked together and I feel like this is the whole emphasis for the whole reading. This creative project is like massive. It's going to aid your recovery, but just have patience. It may not, you just, you're getting your ducks in a, in a line, but they're not ready to go for a little swim just yet. Okay, let's move on to the angel tarot from Darren Virtue. Yes, I feel so excited. Well, definitely feel, my heart feels like, like someone's just stepped on it because it, it's scary when you take, I keep hearing that song, I want to break free. I feel like this new breaking free of yourself, it's not easy to step out of your comfort zone, but when you push yourself, that's where greatness truly comes. You don't find greatness from being in your, in like your happy place in your house. It means like getting outside, putting your running shoes on and going for a run. It means, you know, going to that meetup group where you meet someone where you could network and then that's going to prepare things for when you're ready to launch it could be like for some of you that are pregnant at the moment it could be like um create a project could be uh, oh and then i saw an airplane um could be going to this new destination no, no i'm thinking of a different one now okay back to the baby it could be like preparing the baby room it could be um I had somebody message me recently, I don't know if it was a private client or not, and saying she wanted to lose weight because she is pregnant. I'm not sure if I've got that one right. Um, and it's just like that recovery of this new creative project, this new beautiful life that's in your belly. It's like it's preparing you and, you, and it has mirrored to you things that you haven't really dealt with before. But now that you're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be responsible for another life. Okay, what do I need to clear in order to, to allow myself to be ready for when the baby comes? And that comes with patience oops, <laughs> and personal growth. And I feel like this patience and and growth is all a part of the the recovery phase and your improving health. This is really beautiful, guys. Holy flip. Okay. Whoop. One card, please, angels. What do we need to know from the 19th to the 25th of March? The Mercury retrograde with the whoop, 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 whoop. All these cards are falling. There are two cards that came up and I'm going to take them. The first one is the Ace of... Oh my God. <laughs> we got two cards. The first card is the Ace of Water, which is this new journey. And then we got the Magician, which is the new journey. Okay, so there's a lot of new things that are coming. I think... Okay, back to the Ace of Water. So we're starting a new journey. It's going to be... 
the water is like the most it's like the emotional suit so it says falling in love with the resurgence of a relationship spiritual growth and enhanced intuition a new home this new home could be so many things it could be literally like a new office it could be literally a new home it could be a new home that you like a new life that you're creating in your valley this new home I feel like you're gonna find this new sense of home it's a really beautiful time oh my gosh okay have a look at this card here so we have this beautiful merman merman right down the bottom he's just finding this delicious goodness here it's lovely and calm and he's got the beautiful um, sun rays coming through the ocean but up the top you can see it's a little bit turbulent and I feel like that turbulence is as you're going through this recovery stage and you're facing um, you're things that are being mirrored to you you're just saying I acknowledge this and I release you and in turn I set myself free and then the other card that we got was the magician magician is just like look he's got the flippin infinity sign there's like anything is possible and he's it's like you're ready you have the resources and the abilities to manifest them life is magical if you can visualize it in your mind you can manifest it into your reality and when you surrender to the process and you release all of this crap that has been you have kind of like I see you okay I saw an image of like a man with all of these bags it's like you're getting rid of your baggage and then I see like an old briefcase with like the flick things on it and then the briefcase goes and all the stuff falls out and then you just like it's like you just leave it and then I saw someone like skip. So, <laughs> that's so crazy. So it's kind of like this recovery is like the best thing for you and it's prepping you as we go into this Aries energy next month. Oh my God, the magician card. That's so crazy, but I love it. It's like, I got the power. Yes, you do. You have the power. You have the power. I've got so many goosebumps. I feel so excited for you guys. This is such a beautiful, 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 beautiful time. Just know that everything is working out for you, my loves. Oh my gosh. Just know that, you know, this ace of water, you know, this is the emotions. The emotions, it's going to be a little bit turbulent as you release the blockages. That's going to come through the personal growth and the recovery. But as you go through and you release them, that's when... The, your health is going to improve or whatever you're working on is going to improve and just have patience everything is working out for you it doesn't have to be a sprint you know life is a marathon it's like self-love is not a destination self-love is a journey someone said to me today in a private message on Instagram Mel how do I love myself it's like honey she, like you see me loving myself and having the strategies and tools for like when things go crazy how I cope and how I get myself out of it quickly it's like I wasn't always like that oh my goodness it's like it just takes time what can you do today to that your future self is going to thank you for does that mean um I don't know it could be literally like writing down exactly what you manifest write down three things you want to manifest this moon phase write them down and then as we go into Wednesday work out exactly what that's going to look like when we get into the refining phase or the crescent moon and then when it comes to sunday start taking inspired action and allow it to flow with ease if it's not flowing with ease and something else is flowing with ease just go for it just know that everything is working out for you you have the power you can manifest anything that you want you've got the whole creative project card and the go for it it's like everything is working out for you I feel like this is a month of recovery, even though I've said it's a new moon. I just don't feel like this is the right time to like, that like, I don't feel like, I feel like this is like the finale, the finale. Like you're prepping for like, okay, like you're celebrating everything that you've done and it's like you're preparing for what's next. Oh, I don't know how to explain it. But do you get what I mean? I hope you get what I mean. I think this is a really, really, really beautiful time. Can you please comment below, my loves, and let me know what came up for you because I cannot wait to hear from you. I'm so excited for this time for you. Just keep in mind that we're going into from the 23rd to the 20, 22nd to the 23rd, depending on where you are in the world, 
Mercury retrograde. So pay particular attention to communication and the way that you speak to people because things can be misconstrued. If you're taking a flight somewhere, just be very mindful of that. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. If you have, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, turn on post notifications, that's that little bell, and I will chat with you on Wednesday. I love these readings so much, and I can't wait to hear about how fabulous your week is. I love you. Goodbye.